hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement share functionality in our react native app as you can see over here this is our profile screen and in this profile we have this tell your friends button and if we click on it then we will be presented with sharing options we will have the social sharing option we have different kinds of app present which are installed in our mobile and we can share the information on various kind of social media platforms and we can share text message along with image files pdf files various types of files so for this app i have implemented this thing if we share it then we will be sharing this text message along with this image file so this is what i have implemented and i will show you this thing along with this i will also show you how we can share pdf files how we can share multiple files as well so that is what we are going to implement today and let me tell you one more thing that this tutorial is a part of a tutorial series as you can see we are present in the profile screen and we have several other bottom tabs as well like here we have the explore tab and here i have implemented this this layout by using react native maps and along with that i have already shown you how we can implement this swipe to delete functionality so all these things part of a tutorial series which is called food finder so this app is called food finder and that is what we are going to share to our friends so if you interested in learning all of these things then you can definitely check out my playlist which i will link in the description below or you can find that from i icon so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial so as you can see over here we are at the profile screen.js file and to implement the sharing functionality in our app we need to install this react native share package to our react native app but also let me tell you that we have inbuilt share functionality available with our react native but that share functionality will only work for this message so that means you can share only the text message by using this inbuilt share functionality but as we want to share the image pdf files along with the text message that's why we are going to use this react native share package and this library also a part of a react native community of github library right so we will use it to use it first we need to install it so we need to use this command so let me add it okay so it has been installed and after installing if we are using android then we don't need to do anything but for the ios we need to do this pod install so let me do that cd ios and then pod install so pod installation has been completed so i can close it let me click on this button right now this button is not doing anything we need to implement the functionality and let me check the documentation so here we can see we have a example and like this our sharing functionality will work right so we don't have much more to do this is pretty simple library so we need to import it from react native share and then we can share it by using this kind of options so let me import that so we have imported now i will create a function and in this function i will implement the sharing functionality as we can see we need to use this share.open to implement the sharing feature and also we need to provide some options so we need to provide some sharing options first i want to create that i name it share options then i will provide a message and this is the text message and i will share this so now to share it i will use try catch block so within this try block I have created this shared response constant and here I will share it so share dot open and here I will provide the share options and for the catch block we will catch the errors and we will console log those error 
and then when the user will click on this button then that dialog box will appear from the bottom where we will have the list of the apps which are installed on our mobile and then the user will select the app to share it so the process will require some time and in the meantime our function need to wait for that so that's why i will use await and to use this await we need to make this function as async now we can use it here so for on press we will run this function so now save it okay there is a mistake i have provided this async to this profile screen function it will be on this function so now save it now let's see okay nothing happens let's rebuild the project after installing this package npx react native run android okay now let's see after clicking on this tell your friends we are presented with this so now if i want to share it as a tweet then i will select that then we have this text message which we have provided here so it's working fine now i want to share some files so first i will share a single image then i will show you how to share multiple images how we can share pdf files and how we can combine these things so let me do all those things so right now i discard this tweet and then within this response also we can use this share response to know which platform our users are using to share our content so right now i am doing a console log so it is json stringify and here i will provide this share response and now if i see the console log then we can see after selecting this twitter app we have this log app.com.twitter android from this we can determine that we are using twitter for android to share the content right so like this we can get the information which platform is being used to share our content to share any kind of file we need to first convert it to base 64 format so here i have already converted few files as you can see we have some image files a pdf file right so i have converted this to its equivalent base 64 format and to do that i have used this online tool and as you can see after converting it we have this base 64 encoded information here and we will use that but you need to remember these things before using that base 64 encoding code you need to use this thing for the image i have used this data colon image slash png that means it's a png format and it is base 64 as you can see over here i have also used it for app logo for another image it is in the jpg format so i have used this jpeg for the pdf i have used this data colon application slash pdf right and then colon base 64 after that comma we will use this encoded value right so like this we need to format our files so as i have already done that in this files base 64 and i have already added that within our assets directory i can import that over here so i will import it as files and i will import it from assets file base 64 and now i want to share an image so we need to use url and here i will provide that file so it will be files maybe image 2 now save it after saving it let's check so here we can see we have this text message and the image file right so like this we can share the text and image file now i will share the pdf now i will show you how we can share multiple files so to share the multiple files we will use urls and here we will use array of files and i will comment out this url part now after saving it here we can see that we have multiple files present to share so that's how we can share multiple files and for pdf you can do sample pdf like this and let me use whatsapp 
so here you can see we have shared our sample pdf so finally we want to share this kind of message which i have already tested previously so finally let me do this thing so finally i want to share app logo and i want to share the promotional message for our app so this is the message and this is our app logo so finally we have this message present so this is it this is the tutorial guys this is a quite simple tutorial but it's pretty useful for any kind of app and it perfectly fits into our app requirement so that's why i have shown you if you learned something new from this tutorial or if you are having any kind of difficulty sharing it after seeing this tutorial your doubts has been cleared then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below and if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye